welcome all uh, 2018 question number 6 uh, strategic minor strategic management accounting past paper chindi a the following information is relevant to operation of the company the selling price per unit of the product is 8 rupees and budgeted sales for the next six months are as follows a sales are on credit basis uh, they give a table the months January to June uh, budgeted sales in units and uh, sales proceed are collected in the following pattern 75% in the month in which the sales are made and the remaining 25% in the following month bad debt are negotiable and can be ignored the, the company keeps an ending finished goods inventory equal to 30% of the budgeted unit sales for the next month at the beginning of the January 2019 the company had 12,000 unit in hand 5 kg of raw material are required to complete one unit of product the company requires raw material inventory at the end of the each year equal to 10% of the following month's production needs at the beginning of the January 2019 the company had 23,000 kg of raw material in hand um, the raw material costs cost uh, 80 cent rupees per kg raw material purchase are paid for in the following pattern 60 presents in paid in the month in which the purchase are made and the remaining 40 presents is paid in the following month at the beginning of january 2019 the company statement of financial position shows 81 500 piece in in account payable for raw material purchases all of which have been paid for in the january you are required to prepare the following budgets and schedules for the months january to april and total figures a sales budget and a schedule of expected cash receipts from the sales proceeds they ask a product budget sales budget and cash receipt a material usage and cost budget and schedule of expected cash payment for purchases of material first they ask sales budget uh, let's see the answer first one uh, the sales budget they ask for uh, january to april january to april and uh, next they give us budgeted sales unit they expected to sell january 40,000 likewise and the sales amount sales unit and sales value they sales product each unit 8 per 8 rupees and 8 per rupees multiplied by relevant unit we can get the sales amount get the other amount now and this is the sales budget next they ask uh, cash receipt cash receipt, receipt how do we get the cash receipt uh, 75 percent in the month we recover from sales amount 75 percent in the month uh, 320,000 multiplied by 75 percent uh, we can get the 75 percent uh, the cash receipt of january likewise get other value uh, one 180,000 multiplied by 75 percent we can get uh, 360,000 in the month likewise get other value and uh, next they say 25% in the following month 25% in the following month uh, so 25% first month 0 20, the January 320 20,000 multiplied by 25% it received in following month that is February likewise uh, 480,000 multiplied by 25% we can get March 120,000 likewise get the other value now we can get the total cash receipt in january it is same 240,000 
300 in February 360,000 plus 80,000 it is 440,000 likewise get under value next they ask a product budget let's see the product product budget uh, how do we get the first one uh, first one they give us the sales unit enter the sales unit January 40,000, 60,000, 80,000 and uh, next they get the uh, they maintain 30% of budget of sales unit for the next month we need to add uh, ending stock 30% how do we calculate the ending stock uh, the following month uh, multiply by 30% the following month is uh, February the 60,000 uh, 60, 60,000 multiply by 30% it is 18,000 units likewise get the in February uh, it is 100,000 multiply by 30% it is 30,000 likewise get other value and next day mention opening a stock in uh, in hand 12,000 12,000 for the beginning of the uh, January we have in hand 12,000 uh, stock so this is stock need to multiply uh, sorry minus at the 12,000 and uh, we can enter the uh, previous month opening the stock it is 18,000 uh, in March 30,000 15,000 likewise the before month closing stock in this month it, it be the opening stock like uh, likewise get the value um, need to produce uh, 40,000 plus 18,000 minus 12,000 it is 46,000 units we need to produce in January likewise uh, 60,000 plus 30,000 minus 18,000 it is 72,000 we need to produce in uh, in the February month likewise get the other value next we will see uh, we done material usage how do we get the material usage now we know we need to produce uh, 46,000 in January and likewise other month and raw material we need to 5, 5 kg 5 kilogram of raw material for complete one unit so we need to produce 46,000 how do we get the uh, answer for 46,000 raw material the 5 kg multiplied by 46,000 of unit it is 230,000 likewise get the other value uh, 72,000 uh, multiplied by 5 kg 360,000 likewise get the other value now they say that um, the company require raw material inventory at the end of the each year equal to 10% of the following month production needs additionally they uh, they maintain raw material stock as 10% of following month product uh, raw material needs require needs how do we get the 10% the The raw material 230,000. Sorry, right. uh, how do we get the 10%? In the following month material required amount multiply by 10 percent we need to add for the in this month the in january uh, 360 
thousand multiplied by ten percent it is thirty six thousand likewise get the, the value uh, in the in March material requirement of 425,000 it is multiplied by uh, 10% 10 it is 42,500 likewise get other value and additionally they request at the beginning of the January the company had in hand 23,000 kilogram of raw material in hand so we need to minus this one because we have it uh, the, the previous month opening stock will be the beginning of the stock of the following month in uh, the January closing stock 36,000 will be opening stock in the February so we need, need to minus this value and we can get the material requirement uh, the first one 230,000 plus 36,000 minus 23,000 it is 243,000 I get the other value and next they ask expected cash payment for purchase uh, we need to take this material we find out the cost is the raw material cost is for, for say 80 cent per kg so 80 cent per 1 kg we need to purchase 240,000 so how do we get the amount the 80 cent multiplied by 200, 243,000 we can calculate the cost it is 194 1400 in January like I said the other amount next uh, we can get the what they say uh, purchase are paid for the following pattern 60% paid in the month the, from cost 60% we need to pay it in the month how do we so 190 4400 multiplied by 60 percent it is 116,640 likewise get the value and more the remaining 40 percent paid in the following month the rest of all we need to paid in the following month how do we get the 40 percent Statement financial position shows 81,500 81, account payables for raw material budget. So it should be 40% of uh, December in 2018. So this amount need to uh, pay in this month. So it is the 40%. And next 194,500 multiplied by 40% by for 5 February 40% percent percentage like price get the other answers and uh, next we see how how much we need to pay in the month pay in the month rupees the 60% plus 40% it is 198,000 and 140 rupees in January. Likewise, get the answer. 